All right, so as I said, I wanna start off with a simpler instrument, and I have simpler right here, but let's just go ahead and start with just a new instance of simpler. Blank, it'll look just like this if you load simpler onto a MIDI track. So with simpler, I can play samples chromatically, and that just means I can play them across different pitches, uh, which is great. If I go into my samples category here, I'm gonna find a simple notes. I think there's something called stringer in here that I used before. Let's just go ahead and search. Stringer. All right. Now I'm gonna drop this sample into Simpler, and I should point out before I go much further, one thing with sample-based instruments, uh, you wanna make sure that the notes that you're playing on your MIDI keyboard match the pitches that you're hearing. When I play the note C on my keyboard, uh, it's assuming that the sample is going to generate the pitch of C. That's not always the case. Uh, when you're grabbing samples, it's a good idea to grab a sample that's already tuned to the note C, so that when you play the note C on your keyboard, you'll hear the pitch of C. If that's not the case, there's ways to fix this. Uh, we'll explore that further when we get to the sampler and talk about the root note. But for now, just to be safe, since I have options, I'm choosing a sample that's tuned to C. So I play the note C. Oops, I should arm the track. So when I play the note C, I get the pitch of C, and that's cool. The thing with a sample-based instrument is that when you transpose a sample, by default, uh, the higher you transpose it, the higher the pitch, the shorter the duration. Think about playing a record, right? So if I play this octaves higher, uh, it's gonna get shorter and shorter. Now one really cool thing with a simpler instrument, uh, we currently have this in a classic mode, and this is why I'm able to play the samples chromatically like this. Uh, we can also enable warp. In Ableton Live, warping means that audio is time stretched. The pitch and the tempo can be uh, changed or impacted independently, all right? So we notice that when I change the pitch uh, by playing different notes, the sample got shorter or longer. If I turn on warp here, I can play this at a different pitch and it won't impact uh, the duration at all. Now we can hear it sounds kind of odd because of the warping algorithm that's being used. The beats warp mode is good for preserving the timing of audio events, but not good for making things sound continuously smooth. So if we're going for a smoother tone, maybe complex might be a better choice. Let's see. It's odd, but it's definitely more smooth. Okay, all right, not bad. So we have a sample in here. Uh, we are able to play this chromatically because we're in the classic mode. I can play more than one note at a time because of the amount of voices here that I'm able to generate. Currently, I can play up to six notes at once, but I can play more or less depending on how many voices uh, I allocate. And uh, like I said, in Simpler, we can warp audio, which is something that we can't do in Sampler. So this is a, a very good thing to be aware of depending on how you wanna treat your audio. Down here, I also have an amplitude envelope. Uh, we have some other parameters that we're gonna play with. So we'll deep dive into some more things we can do to shape our sounds once they're in Simpler uh, in the next video.